in our Cape Town studio now to talk about the strong performance of the South African bond yields in the first days of this year. Jonathan Myerson from KD's Asset Management. Good morning to you, uh, Jonathan. These uh, bonds rose, they, the yields were down to the lowest in five weeks and linked to the oil prices. So perhaps for the people who don't actually trade in bonds but uh, need to know why this is important, uh, explain what's been happening with, with our bonds. Good morning. Uh, so first, just to remind the listeners or the, the viewers that um, when we talk about interest rates uh, declining, prices go up, and that's obviously been uh, particularly positive in the last um, 10 days or so. The, the year started really strongly. Um, benchmark bonds in South Africa has um, come down by about um, 45 to 50 basis points, and that's really been um, a result uh, of a combination of things, but it really comes down to the inflation outlook um, and the massive benefit of the really collapse in the oil price um, over the last um, three months or so. So if you think that uh, we were concerned about inflation in 2014, um, kind of remaining above or significantly above the upper end of the inflation target, I think uh, it's quite clear that in 2015, at least um, in the first um, six months or so, inflation is going to be significantly low and possibly um, below the middle of the inflation target, that being 4.5%. Now the, so obviously the, the, the benefit of um, lower inflation suggests that if yields are at these kind of levels, the real return um, that you get from bonds is quite attractive. And I think um, just to make the point, in 2015 started on a really strong uh, footing. Uh, the market's probably returned about 2.5% already in bonds in the, the first um, 10 days or so. And that's really unusual um, in such a short uh, period of time. And um, if you consider that in 2014 the market returned in total um, just over 10%, um, you know, 10 days at 2.3% uh, is quite impressive. Um, also, I just want to make the point, I suppose, that um, despite quite gloomy outlook for bonds at the beginning of last year, uh, bonds did pretty well and in real terms um, returned um, around 4%. Um, similarly to, to equity, which, um, you know, are slightly more volatile. So I think um, we're looking for continuation of um, strength in, in bond yields at this stage, mm -hmm. driven by the global environment, driven by U.S. Treasuries falling to um, you know, below 2%, and that also being driven by European bonds yeah. of the um, better quality, German in particular, mm -hmm. falling or trading around uh, historical lows. Uh, Jonathan, well uh, Jonathan, let's expand on that because you've mentioned uh, CPI being important, Brent crude, and you're also talking about uh, global equities and, and how those bonds are currently trading. What economic data should one be looking at during the course of this year to have a better understanding of how this is going to impact on South African bonds? Sure, well, it really comes down to the most important thing for bonds must be inflation. Um, and the reaction of the Reserve Bank to that inflation rate in a monetary policy uh, decision. Um, I think um, it wouldn't have been that long ago when most of the market commentators would have expected um, the repo rate to be uh, maybe half a percent or, or more higher, um, and certainly to by the middle or to, uh, to end of this year to be significantly higher than where we are now. With inflation being as low as it is, that is not likely. So really the um, kind of anchor for, um, for bonds is what the policy rate um, is going to be. The longer the policy rate uh, remains at what is historically low levels, um, the better chance is that um, longer dated bonds will perform uh, well as well because they just offer the higher yield and inflation being low suggests again um, positive and currently increasing uh, real returns from bonds, which is uh, I suppose the most important thing that a bond investor looks at because bond investors generally uh, want more certainty and more protection um, than, um, than say when they buy um, equities, at least um, with equities in the short term. Uh, bonds generally will be more stable, um, although of course them too at times are quite volatile as we saw uh, even in December last year when they lost um, about 1.5% of their value. Jonathan, sometimes bonds uh, become uh, far beyond the normal uh, importance in terms of trading. 
Uh, I remember there was a period where with the Eurozone where every morning we were talking about Italian bonds and Greek bonds and uh, Portuguese bonds and Spanish bonds as a, as a measure of what uh, investors were thinking of those economies. And seeing that foreigners, uh, the, the note here, 958 million rands worth or 82 million US dollars uh, in buying South African debt yesterday, that's the most since the 29th. I'm not sure how, how much is that and what does it say about foreign investors compared to their normal interest? Well, I think that's right. I think um, the best kind of barometer as to the perception of uh, investors um, of an economy is probably the yield on the long-dated uh, bonds. And um, South Africa has actually performed reasonably well in that, um, in that area because if you certainly consider uh, what happened in Russia, Ukraine, uh, Venezuela, some other countries, the, South the, the uh, impression, it appears, um, of foreigners of the South African market has actually been um, reasonably good because South African bonds actually performed not in, uh, only well in absolute terms but also relatively to these other markets. So right now, um, for instance, uh, I think one of the, the important things about um, the South African bond market which we sometimes um, kind of ignore is the fact that um, while the, the other emerging markets have got very high um, exposure to dollar denominated debt uh, which suggests that they could come under more pressure as your previous um, um, guest uh, suggested, as, those, um, as the dollar um, strengthens, the cost of borrowing for these countries and the, the cost of financing that debt increases. South Africa has got a relatively low uh, exposure to foreign or dollar denominated debt and what's even more encouraging is that most of that debt is long term. So even if the RAND was to depreciate a little bit more and certainly what we saw in 2013 and to extend in 2014, it hasn't really affected um, the perception of foreigners uh, around South Africa. So South Africa has actually stood up pretty well, um, but I have to say that there are obviously um, risks associated to our um, really reliance on foreign capital inflows and on the reliance of um, global conditions remaining supportive um, for investors that are looking for high yield in emerging, emerging markets. Oh, Jonathan, thank you so much for that. That was Jonathan Myerson, who is the head of fixed interest at Katie's Asset Management.